Okay, welcome back. Time to continue with this side case, although... I noticed our health is somewhat low. We should probably eat. Uh, I think we were still trying to max out these guys. So let's... I guess let's eat there, see if we can max out that friendship and put a pin in that, finally. Yeah, I should have actually done this before. Oop. Oh god. <laughs> Sorry about your sign out there. Yags! Welcome! Yeah. Wow, Miharu-chan, you look like you won the lottery. Heh <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, follow me and I'll tell you all about it. Hmm? So, what's the big news? I'm assuming something good happened. Well, yes, see, Norimoto-kun and I are officially together now. Mission accomplished! Good going, Norimoto-kun. Now act surprised. Wow, are you serious? I am. On our way home from the aquarium, Norimoto-kun confessed his true feelings. Miharu-chan, he said, I see you as more than just a part-time co-worker. I see you as my full-time woman. <laughs> that's... that's great! Ah-ha-ha-ha. Uh, you know, Yags, it's almost like you're Cupid or something. Hmm? What makes you say that? Because every time I told you about my love life, it happened exactly the way you said. And now I have a wonderful boyfriend. Maybe it's all just a wonderful string of coincidences. You really think so? Hmm. Either way, I'm still glad to have met you, Yags. I hope you'll always be a regular. Alright, well she's a friend now. You bet. Thanks for the meal, Maharu-chan. Best of luck to you and the new boyfriend. Thank you. Okay, I, I think we actually did complete the menu here, but let me just take a look. Yeah, we did. Alright, so we're not going to eat here. Uh, well... We did start trying to drink at Earth Angel so we can go there. Maybe get a couple of uh, brews in us. Maybe complete that bar. And also work on that friendship. I know I said that I was going to do the side case um, when we started up this next part, but uh, I just want to get our health up in an efficient way. Like where we're maximizing the side stuff, really. And not just eating for the sake of eating. Oh, what is this? A can? <laughs> Beat you down with a can? Oh my god, he really still had that fucking stupid armor on? Get the hell out of here. Come on, get up, guy. Or not. What up? Man, I got absolutely destroyed last time, as did my liver. So I've been drinking my ass off since. Builds tolerance. <laughs> Don't think I'll go down easy like last time, alright? You really want your free drinks that bad, huh? Maybe you should trick someone else for a change. Would if I could, but word about me is already spread throughout this entire area. The moment anyone hears about the drinking champ of the Champion District, they freeze up like deer in the headlights. More like freeloading champ of the Champion District. Now let's get down to business. Loser treats the winner, as you may already know. I accept. Ooh. Guess I could drink for a bit. Now you're talking, and let's get our drink on. <laughs> this, this is just the tip of the iceberg. 
It's drink or drown, Yags. Bottoms up. Still thirsty over here. Feels like I haven't had a drop to drink in weeks. Am I right? Keep them coming. Now hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Be right back. Uh, sorry about that. I ordered food and uh, they were out of one of the ingredients, so I had to tell them an alternative. Uh, still thirsty over here. Feels like I haven't had a drop to drink in weeks. Am I right? Keep them coming. Is this drink number three? Man, you are handling your business over there. Me? I'm doing just fine. <clears throat> no siree. I'm done. Throwing in the towel here. Damn, I can't believe I ended up losing twice. Yeah, the trick is to just come completely sober and you'll beat him every time. <laughs> Guess drinks are on your dime today. Those are the rules, right? Yeah, I suppose. After all, a man's word is his bond. But let it be known that... Oh, but let it be known I'll get that free drink out of you someday. Not today. Alright, let's uh, knock another bev off the uh off the list here i think uh yeah the 1300 one right here and then maybe we'll hit a restaurant and get like one food item because it doesn't make sense to max out because we don't have max health so it would just be a waste really oops i didn't want to sprint i just wanted to exit All right, uh, now we finished that restaurant down there. Oh yeah, we can probably easily get this guy down again. Um, I guess we can probably eat here. Yeah, we could probably start that. Excuse me. And then we'll, we can uh, move on to that side case. This is a good way to, to knock out both of uh, Ryo's friendship and uh, this guy's friendship. Just drink, use the fucking EX move, and then drink again. Man, I lost again. Is there really anyone out there who can hit this guy? Yeah, it's me. Oh, there is, and I won't be losing to anyone until I face him again. Hey, aren't you? Cool. Yo, it's been a while. <laughs> so we meet again at last. I've been looking forward to a rematch. Ready to punch some air? Well, aren't you all fired up? Oh, oh yeah, I've been training day in and day out for this moment. I'm practically untouchable now. Still costs 5,000 yen per round, though. So are you going to try and hit me or what? Try and sock him. Cool. I'll take you on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I am so looking forward to this. Let's fucking do it, man. Allow me a brief divination. I see with my mind's eye a challenger. But what's this? He's on his knees in defeat? You need to... T what is this guy doing in the back? <laughs> you need to take your mind's eye to an optometrist because I see a much different future. Alright, guy. And that's the end. See you later. Holy huh, shit. Can't believe you beat me twice. But, a deal's a deal. Take the money. I must say, you are quite something. Take it from someone who's always running into one knucklehead after another. I still have yet to see a guy who can dodge like you. Heh, <laughs> what can I say? The previous Mr. Try and Hit Me taught me well. He was like a god among men. His feet could move mountains if they wanted to. Tell me, what can a man do to push himself past his limits? Hmm. The only thing I can say is practice. Not just dodging, though. Huh? 
You mean, I need to practice throwing punches too? Huh. Yeah, wouldn't it be easier to predict your enemy's movements if you knew how they would attack? Word. Then what you're saying is, I need to get in fights more often. Aha, I can do that. Yeah, I'm gonna bust some heads. Yeah, I don't think so. Randomly picking fights with people is exactly what I don't want to see you doing. Huh? I... I guess you're right. But then, what should I do? Why don't you be my backup? There are plenty of punks in town who seem to have it out for me, so I could use the help. Huh? You want me to help you? Throw down? I can dig that. Good, because dealing with the Cahen gang on my own is getting to be a headache. Oh. No worries, man. I got you. If I see anyone trying to step to you, I'll swoop down on them with the quickness. Alright, just like that, we have a backup, bro. One word of caution, though. These are real gangsters we're talking about here. They might even pull out some weapons. Heh, <laughs> no worries. Knives and bats are nothing compared to your terrifying fists of fury. Ha! Huh. They can try all they want, but people don't call me Mr. Try and hit me for nothing. Let's see what they got. Well, glad to have you on the team. You know, I just realized. Uh, did we finish dating that other chick, Nanami? I don't think we did. Oh yeah, we have to like pester her in order to go out with her. Well, we're dealing with Amane right now, so... One, one woman at a time. <laughs> We actually still have a date open with Amane right now. What up? Hello. Greetings, sir. I'm Matsuzaki, the manager here. Would you care to learn about our Yakiniku challenge? Mm -hmm. Sure. What's it all about? It's got three trivia questions related to Yakiniku. Answer them right, and we'll serve you the finest Kalbi Camarocho has to offer. Shit. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'll get these right. Hmm, sounds interesting. A worthy morsel for a worthy customer. Will your knowledge make the grade, or will you end up getting grilled? Find out for only a thousand yen. Should I take the Yakiniku challenge? Yeah, why not? Cool. Alright, I got Sirik Z's guide up. So hopefully he has the answers here. I'll give this thing a shot. That's Uzaki. Okay, he does give the answers, thankfully. Wonderful, then let's begin right away. First question. Which of the following innards is located toward the rearmost part of the cow? It is the small intestine. The small intestine, right? Bravo! You nailed it. Awesome. Now then, on to the second question. Which of the following innards is considered to be the guts? Uh, the stomach? The stomach? Amazing! You're absolutely right! Awesome. Next is the third and final question. Which of the following cuts is used to prepare Calbi? That would be the flank. Is it the flank? Mm -hmm. Huh? Was I wrong? <laughs> the opposite! You passed with flying colors. <sighs> Whew! You almost had me for a second. Don't pause like that. Ah, I apologize. I thought it would fit the mood. Back to the subject at hand. Since you've answered everything correctly, we will serve you the legendary Calbi. Aw, oh, yeah! Not many customers are grounded enough in beef culture to get through all those questions, you know. Well done. Alright, we're halfway there to being his friend. Now please follow me. Thank you for your patronage. We eagerly await your return. Amazing. That Calbi was really something else. Okay, it did fill up my health. That's good. Excuse me, guy. Oh my god.
Ah, nice. Thank you for joining me so quickly. I'm gonna need you to put that pipe down, though. I just folded. I'm gonna need you to turn around, Yags, please. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks, man, and your deep ass voice. We got here. This smartphone. Is it Shimazu san's? Whoa, the list of missed calls from Yukaku san is insane, but I knew it would be. I think that confirms that this is Shimazu san's phone, but he's nowhere to be found. Mm hmm? Shimazu san's phone is ringing. Hmm, guess I may as well answer. Hello? Hehehe, <laughs> Yukaku Oki, if you're worried about Mamoru, then come to Camaro Hills immediately. Mm. What? Wait! Mm. Uh oh, they hung up. What's going on? I better get to Camaro Hills. Yeah, let's let her know. Hello, Yukako san. Yags, where's Mamoru? I'm afraid he wasn't here. Just his smartphone. And then a strange man called and said to go to Camaro Hills before hanging up. What? Is Mamoru okay? Does that mean he was kidnapped? I can't be sure. They didn't demand a ransom, though, which would be typical of kidnappers. But the person who called assumed it would be you who answered. They specifically called to give you that message. What? I don't really get it either, but I'm heading to Camaro Hills to get to the bottom of this. I'm going too. Alright, see you there. Be careful though. Okay, let's head to the front of Camaro Hills. Dude was totally kidnapped. Or he's setting himself up. What the Uh, you know what, let's fight Honda so that it goes down a little bit. Um, are the other guys on? Yeah, Koga's available. So is Kasai and Sakakiba. Oh, shit. Alright, let's fight Honda real quick. Ah, there's the man I've been looking for. So, Koga being a lazy motherfucker, you have to give your ass. Yeah, I know, you've said this to me like five times already. Probably more. Come on, man, get up. Damn, <laughs> fuck this guy's shop up. There we go, I wanted to get him into that mode. Oh. Have a kebab, bitch. <laughs> oh, wow, that's very strong. Well, I don't really agree with that, but okay. Gonna need you to get off me, guy. Please. I can't even fucking grab him, which is annoying. 
What? There we go. Holy shit. Huh. I have to fucking eat again. I don't know, did we finish this place? Ak Ikanari steak? I don't know. But you know what? Actually, what I should probably just do is just fucking hit the doctor. So I don't have to deal with this mortal wound bullshit anymore. What's up, man? Ah, Yags. Thanks for the other day. No sweat, Moroboshi Sensei. Good to see you. Hmm. So, you used to be part of a medical university? What was that like? That was a long time ago. Thinking back on it now, I can't believe I got swept up in all that bullshit. <laughs> all I ever thought about was how to get tenured, even at the cost of the people around me. Couldn't trust anyone. After I left the hospital and ended up on the streets, th these folks were the only ones who showed me any kind of dignity. They've been taking care of me ever since. Wow. I had no idea. Moroboshi-sensei, help! We need a doctor! What's wrong, Hamanaka-san? It's Kondo-san. He got into an accident. <gasps> what? We're bringing him here right now so you can take a look. So can you take a look? I'm on it. Ah. All right. I've done everything I can, but we don't have enough blood for a proper transfusion. What the fuck? Yags, Hamanaka-san. I have a favor to ask. Sure thing. What is it, Moroboshi-sensei? We need people who can donate type O blood to Kondo-san. Several of them. Oh my god. Okay, I'll ask around the homeless community. Yags? Yeah? I'm going to ask around the Champion District, so could you take care of Public Park 3? Public Park 3? Got it. Alright, I'm counting on you. Uh, well, I really came here to fucking heal myself. Uh, I need a checkup. Can I bother you for a checkup? 20,000 yen. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fine. Hook it up. Alright, thank you, guy. Alright, Public Park 3, he said, right? Don't remember which park that is, but it should say it on the map. Uh, this is Children's Park. Uh, I guess it... Yeah, that's Public Park 3. Alright. I'd rather not get into a fight right now. I beat Honda, I just want this Kahin shit to go away. Alright, well I guess I <laughs> had no choice here. Get the fuck off of me. <laughs> what the fuck? I've always wondered what the deal is with that. They do this, like, little crazy dance. What's up, fellas? You got typo blood? Huh? What's this all of a sudden? This guy named Kondo-san got into an accident and needs a blood transfusion. Fast. What did you say? Kanchan's hurt? Are you serious? Yes. So please, is there anyone with typo blood? I'm type O. Great. Now would you please come with me right away? Sure. Anything for Kanchan. 
then let's get going. Alright, I guess we somehow resolve this very easily and quickly. It's a... It's a very fortunate uh, occurrence that they not only know their blood type, but they're willing to do this. <laughs> Alright, that should do it. That was a close one. Moroboshi Sensei, thank you so much. Man, I'm so happy right now. Thanks again, Yags. Sorry to put you out like that. It's okay, man. Uh, pardon me. I'm just looking for the, uh, the Yankee game. Ah, oh, here it is. It was no trouble at all. Well, I need to thank you somehow. Excuse me. If you find yourself injured, I'll treat you anytime. Stop by whenever. Medicine alone won't do the trick. You're welcome here anytime. I do have to charge you, of course. <laughs> Heh. Sounds like just what the doctor ordered. Indeed. Well then, I'll see you around. Alright, well we made a friend in the, in the process. Alright, now to continue back on that side case. guys are fucking everywhere, man. I beat your boss up. Like, you guys should fuck off, too. How did I not trigger the Flux Fisher? He's right there. Get the fuck out of here. Alright, see you later, guy. Uh, where do we need to go in Camaro Hills? All the way, though. Fuck over there. Alright. God damn it. Hit beat up with a crowbar. Oh, there's still two guys left. I didn't even realize that. I didn't even realize these guys were a part of the fight. Man, you really putting the work in helping me out here, guy. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, well that takes care of that. <laughs> Man, the Flux Fisher is so fucking OP. It's a real shame that they nerfed it in, in uh, Lost Judgment.
<laughs> Get the fuck out of here. You fucking fat piece of shit. Thank you again for your assistance, guy. Uh... I thought Koga was over. Oh, he moved. You know what? Whatever. I was gonna fight him since he was close, but he's pretty much out of the way now, so fuck him. Mm -hmm. Huh? Shimazu-san? <laughs> Surprise! Huh? Yags? I fucking knew it. I've been looking for you, man. Where were you and what were you doing? Wait. If you're looking for me, does that mean Yukako hired you? Um, what the heck is going on? I picked up your phone and I got a pretty threatening call. That was you on the other end, Yags. That's not how that was supposed to go. Mamoru! Oh, Yukako. Surprise! Forget that! Where were you? Oh, are you upset? Of course I am. I was worried sick. You weren't... You weren't meeting another woman, were you? W -w -w what are you saying, Yukiko? Yukako? I'm not even capable of that. Then what were you doing? Okay, Yukako. Close your eyes real quick. Huh? Excuse me? Just close your eyes, Yukako. What in the hell? T tokunaga san Oh? Yags! What brings you here? It's a long story. The real question is, why are you here? <laughs> oh, Mamoru asked me to come, man. We're bros, so I told him I'd be glad to be his girlfriend's present. Eh? What? Your... A present? Yeah, me and this guy go all the way back to high school. I knew Yukako was a fan, so... I planned it all out as a surprise for her birthday. Dropping the smartphone was part of it, but... Oh, and that's why you called. Hey, uh, guys, how long do I have to keep my eyes closed? Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Jesus Christ. Huh? Whoa! You... you were wearing a wig? No, it's a hat! Yeah! Yags, go after it. Huh? Again? Come on, Mamoru's girlfriend can't see me like this. Hey, come on, how long do I have to keep my eyes shut? Hurry up, Yags, she's going to open her eyes. For crying out loud. Is she not, like, hearing any of this? Why doesn't she just open her fucking eyes? Be like, what the hell is going on? This is also, like, the least secure wig ever. To just constantly be swept off this guy's fucking head. Actually wasn't sure if he was gonna climb up that that little ledge. But it appears that he did. Damn. Oh my god. That's brutal. Hell yeah. Time to fucking kick flip it up. Ooh. Give me that shit. Catch the hat? Yeah, I don't know if that's actually a hat, bro, but whatever. Here. Phew. That was clutch, man. Okay, Yukako. You can open your eyes now. Took you long enough. Wait, what? No way. No way! Toya? Huh? 
What? How? Happy birthday, Yukako. He's my present for you. Is this what you've been up to, Mamoru? I had to get things ready so I couldn't get in touch. I'm sorry for worrying you, Yukako. Oh, well then why didn't you just tell me, Monkey Muffin? <laughs> then it wouldn't be a surprise, would it, my sugar booger? <laughs> You're lucky to have a guy who can make you smile, Yukako-san. I see no one wants to stop and consider what I just went through. I know. Hey, can I go now? Oh yeah, here's your fee, Yags. Shall we then? I've got a reservation at that Italian place you love. Yay, let's go, let's go. Ah, <laughs> uh, you two are a couple peas in a pod. You sure I'm not just a third wheel here? Of course not. I'm so happy you're here. It's twice this couple has taken me on a ride. Fucking motherfuckers, bro. Alright, so I think the only other thing we can do beside the main story is go on a date with Amane. Uh, but... I mean, we've already done two in such a short span. And they typically take like about 20 minutes, so... I'm just gonna go back to the uh, detective agency and advance the story. We can go on a date with Amane-san maybe in the next part or another time. <laughs> wow, what that woman was saying was quite something. Woman with a Kansai dialect. Pardon me, sir, but you look awful tired. I recommend a full-body de-stress package pronto. Mm -hmm. Are you talking to me? <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you. I was thinking I could come over to your place sometime and ease those throbbing muscles. Ayo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm not really interested in that kind of massage. I'll pass. <laughs> what the heck? I never said I was going to do anything weird. I'm a mobile massage therapist, for crying out loud. Oh, whoops. You're darn right, whoops. Are there no actual health professionals here in Camarocho? <laughs> anyway, the name's Sakura Amamiya, and I fix busted backs and broken hearts from Sotenbori all the way to Tokyo. Mm. Broken hearts, huh? You're sounding awfully scammy right now, lady. Come on, that's just part of my bit. You'll understand once you have your first session. Right now, I'm offering my services for the very low price of 3,000 yen an hour. My hands are pure magic, or so I'm told. Uh... Yeah, now I'm even more skeptical. Stop being a weirdo and just try it out. Or at least take my contact info. You are now able to call Sakura Amamiya to the office using the messages app. Alright. Mm -hmm. Who's this? Oh, okay. We actually, uh... Have these guys fuck off, thankfully. Okay, I guess we can start that friendship whenever we want. We just gotta call her to the office. Probably won't be doing that anytime soon, though. Oh, yeah, let's pull this out of the... the inbox. All right, now we can finally advance the main story. Woo! I wonder how close we are to going to chapter 12. Well, damn. Another fucking victim? That's a little shitty.
All right, let's see. Yeah, the date is still available. It doesn't go away. And I think no matter how long you take to uh, to start it, it doesn't like negatively impact um, your interactions with her. So we can really do it whenever we want. Let's advance the main story a bit, and then we can continue um, Amane's uh, sub story and whatnot. Because we also need to continue that other girl that we need to consistently hound to complete her thing. And I guess we will probably also start a relationship with this new mobile ma massage therapist. So we have a lot on our plate right now. Mahuyu. <laughs> ああ。今現場に入ってる。矢神くん、夕べはあの刑事の取り調べ大丈夫だった。なあ、マフィー。何？黒岩だったよ。モグラの正体。え？え？ハムラの頭と昔からずっとつながってたらしい。多分。多分。初めは綾部と似たような汚職警官だったんだ。それがとうとう殺しまで受けるようになった。んで、その黒岩を道具に使っているのが、省のと厚生労働省の一部官僚たち。カムロ町で目をえぐられた死体は、後で苦難院の人